Hello students and parents. In this lesson video, we will be going over the math lesson from earlier today. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, please, please, please put the date. Oops, this is supposed to be a nine. <laughs> I'm still stuck on uh, August time. So nine, one, 2020. That's a nine, by the way. <laughs> um, and for today's math lesson, we talked about the video we watched earlier um, and the lesson is lesson two and it's using similar to what we did yesterday with um, lesson one, where the students were given dots and they had to count the dots and then write the number next to um, the dots that were on ladybugs and then see the differences between. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be working with dots again, but this time we're going to combine the dots and get a new number to count the entire amount or total amount of dots. So let's go ahead and get started. So use two different colors and I suggest that you also use different colors. Um, for the first problem, uh, let's go ahead and make this many dots. I'm not going to count them out because um, we are going to count them at the end um, after we have drawn all of our dots. There's some dots. I'm going to use a different color for the next one. And I make a line to separate between the dots and then I'm going to make some dots over here. Okay, so now that after my dots are both drawn, I'm going to count how many dots I have for blue and how many I have for purple. So for blue, I have one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna count how many purple dots I have. One, two, three. Okay, now after I've counted both sides of dots, I'm going to combine them or add them together. So five, and now I'm gonna count them all together and get a new total number down here. So five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight dots in total, eight dots in all. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing again. So for the next one, I'm going to go ahead and make dots one more time. make a line. I'm going to use a different color. Please make sure to use a different color when you're doing your dots and that way you can see the difference between the two numbers. Okay, so I have yellow dots and green dots. So now what I'm going to do is, um, or actually what I would like you to do please, is count how many dots you have of yellow and write the number. Then count how many green dots you have and write the number. Then you're going to combine both of these dots and you're going to tell me how many dots all together do you have after counting all the yellow ones and counting all the green ones together. I said we squished them together um, to count, figure out how many dots in all. So that is going to be our math assignment for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, and I hope you have a great rest of your afternoon.